because otherwise you will just meet several millions of people in many countries um, and it's also because if you don't put special attention then there will always remain an afterthought and while I think we have made quite significant progress in being aware especially with regards to gender um, and child rights person with disabilities it's it's coming but we have a big difficulty to transform awareness in concrete results and one of the reasons for it is the it's seen as a as a luxury and very often I met that in, in talking with uh, staff from different organizations, be it public or private or NGOs, is, yeah, we would like to, but it's already complex to do the things we do. Once we fix that, we, then we will. And there is no real understanding that you won't be able to do it afterwards. If you don't build it in, it will never be. There is not this feeling that this is a core requirement and it should be part of your job like anything else. I just think about the chance for a, ch a girl with disability to go in school. Very tiny. In many countries, very tiny. Um, and I think it's, it's also when we talk about legal capacity and, and women um, in many countries, women don't have the right to own um, a land. Um, and uh, you have many women who don't have actually legal capacity because of mental health or intellectual disabilities, which just compound with, with the regular gender issues and make them much more complicated and, and, and much heavier for those persons to, to go through. Uh, for instance, in some countries, if you are a woman with disability, like uh, psychosocial disabilities, and you have been deprived of legal capacity, if you get raped, you cannot even go to the police station to complain because you don't have the capacity, the legal capacity to complain. And I think it's, it's, it's exploring, uh, for instance, program on violence against women. Um, there is very rarely provision to ensure that those programs are safe house would be accessible for women with disabilities. When we know that deaf women, women with intellectual disability, women with psychosocial disability and others experience higher rate of violence. Um, so they, they might be more victim, but they are less supported. And I think it's, it's really, you just have to take some few concrete examples and for, for the, the mind of people to say, oh, never thought about it. And I don't think that people don't want to do it. I just think that most of the time they just don't think about those things.